In present video, I am going to explain about 19th problem from consignment accounts topic. I am taking this question from Telangana State Telu Academy Inter Secondary Accountancy Textbook. But this video is useful to all common students who want to know about consignment accounts topic. Previous problems, videos, links are available in the description box. Let us see the question first. Pawan Kumar of Hyderabad consigns to Kiran Kumar of Nijamabad 50 cases of goods at a cost of 500 rupees per case. Pawan Kumar incurred the expenses 500 rupees. Kiran Kumar paid 400 rupees. Four cases were destroyed in transit. Kiran Kumar received remaining stock and sold entire stock for 30,000 rupees. He is entitled for a commission of 5% on sales and send the bank draft for full settlement of account. Show necessary accounts in the books of Pawan Kumar. This is a question. Let us see the solution for this. Important points of this problem I have written on the board. Pawan Kumar is living in Hyderabad. He sent goods to Kiran on consignment. So Kiran Kumar is living in Nijamabad. So consignor is Pawan Kumar because he is sending goods and Kiran Kumar is known as Kanzaini. Kanzainar sent 50 cases on consignment. One case cost price is 500 rupees. To send these goods, Kanzainar incurred 500 rupees expenditure. And in this transportation, four cases were destroyed, damaged. So this damage comes under abnormal loss. Because the loss is not due to the nature of the product, no? So this is abnormal loss. Four cases were damaged. Means how many cases are received by Kanzaini? 50 minus 4, 46 cases. And Kanzaini sold these 46 cases for 30,000 rupees. So there is no unsold stock here. To sell these 46 cases, Kanzaini incurred 400 rupees expenditure. On sales, he is entitled to take 5% commission. The due amount Kanzaini paid to Kanzainar through a bank draft. In question, he is asking ledger in Pawan Kumar books, Kanzainar's books. So, heading is ledger of Pawan Kumar in brackets Kanzainar. In his books, three accounts we have to prepare now. Consignment account, Kanzaini's account, Kiran Kumar account, goods and on consignment account. Kiran Kumar, Kanzaini is living in Nijamabad, no? So to consignment account, add that area's name, Kanzaini's area's name. And consignment account, why we prepare? To know the profit or loss in consignment business. So this account is a nominal account. So while preparing this account, nominal account rule we should follow. Debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. So consignment business related expenses and losses on debit side we should show, incomes and gains on credit side. And all transactions from Pawan Kumar's point of view we should analyze. Because in his books we are preparing accounts now. First what happened, Pawan Kumar sent goods on consignment basis. So debit side we should write this. And the account name is to goods sent on consignment account. 50 cases are sent on consignment. One case cost price is 500 rupees. 50 into 500, 25,000 rupees. Next, to send these goods, consignor incurred 500 rupees expenditure. So to consignor, this is an expenditure. Expenditure in consignment account, David said we should show now. Amount 500. For consignor's expenses, we should write to bank account. Consignee received 46 cases and he sold them for 30,000 rupees. So 30,000 sale is an income now. Incomes in consignment account credit side we should show. Who sold these goods? Consignee, Kiran Kumar. So his name we have to write by Kiran Kumar account, 30,000 rupees. To sell these goods, Kiran Kumar incurred 400 rupees expenditure, consignee's expenditure. Expenditure in consignment account debit side now, 
400 on debit side. For consignor's expenses, you wrote bank. For consignor's expenses, his name we should write. So, to Kiran Kumar account. Next, consignor's commission 5%. Consignor has to pay. So, to consignor, this is an expenditure. Expenditure in consignment account debit side. To whom we have to pay this commission? To Kiran Kumar. So, write his name. To Kiran Kumar account. Commission we pay on sales. Sales amount is 30,000. 30,000 into commission rate 5%. 5 by 100. 1500 rupees. Now come to damaged goods. Four cases are damaged. So this is abnormal loss. Abnormal loss value we should calculate. So working notes heading is abnormal loss value calculation. First, cost of damaged goods. How many cases are damaged? Four. One case cost price is 500. So four cases into 500 rupees each, 2000. To this, consignors direct expenditure we should add. Proportionate direct expenses. So how many cases are sent by consignor? 50 cases now. On 50 cases, consignor incurred how much expenditure? 500. 500 we should not take here because we want to calculate 4 cases value. No? So 4 cases cost we should take. 4 cases related consignor expenses only we should take. 500 is total cases related expenditure. No? 50 cases expenditure. Don't take that amount. So question is, on 50 cases, if consignor's direct expenditure is 500, on 4 cases, his expenditure is how much? 500 divided by 50 into 4. Ten into 4, 40 rupees. And consignor's expenditure, we should not add. Actually, in question, for this 400, he has not mentioned any name. So, when proper information is not given about consignee's expenditure, then we should take consignee's expenditure as indirect expenditure. No? Even though it is direct expenditure, why calculating abnormal loss value we should not take? Reason is, these four cases are damaged in transportation. Means, consignor spend these 500 rupees on 50 cases. But in transportation only four cases are damaged. So consignee received remaining only no 46 only no. On 46 cases only consignee spent this 400. So on damaged cases consignee didn't spend any expenditure. That is why while calculating damaged goods value consignee is a direct expenditure we should not consider. So abnormal loss value is 2040. In consignment account credit side, we should show no? in previous problems I explained abnormal loss value 2040. What to write for that? In present problem, he has not given any information regarding insurance claim. Means these goods are not insured. Then total amount is lost for us. So for that total amount, we should write by abnormal loss account. Everything is completed. Finally, Find out the totals of two sites. Credit amounts total is 32,040 rupees. Debit amounts total 27,400. Credit total is more than debit total. So difference 4,640. Way to write. Debit side total is less now. Debit side we should write. And what to write for this answer? Credit total is more than debit total. Credit side we wrote incomes. Debit said expenditure. Income is more than the expenditure. So answer is profit. This profit we should transfer to profit and loss account. So write down that account name. To profit and loss account. Two sides put the highest total. 32,040 rupees. Credit said also same. So consignment account is completed. Next account to consignment account. Kiran Kumar account. With the help of consignment account, we can prepare this account. Credit side, for 30,000 we wrote Kiran Kumar. No? 
So this 30,000 in Kiran Kumar account David said we should write. We are taking this amount from Nijamabad consignment account. So here write down that account name. To Nijamabad consignment account. Next. Credit set completed. Come to debit. For 400 we wrote Kiran Kumar. For 1500 also we wrote Kiran Kumar. These two amounts credit set we should write. 400, 1500. From consignment account, we are taking these two amounts now. So, write down the account name. By Nijamabad consignment account. For 1500 also, same. So, from consignment account, everything we are taken. Finally, meaning of this account is, consignee sold our goods for 30,000. From this, his expenditure 400, his commission 1500, he deducts. Remaining amount, he pays to us. That remaining amount is called due amount. And how he pays that amount? Through a bank draft. So that remaining amount we should find out now. Debit total 30,000 minus credit total 1,900. So the due amount is 28,100. Credit total is less. So credit side, we should write this answer. Kanzani paid this due amount through bank draft now. Therefore, for this answer, we have to write by bank account. Then two side totals, 30,000. Credit side, as we wrote the difference, total becomes 30,000. So, Kanzani's account is completed. Next, to come to goods sent on consignment account. To prepare this account also, we will take the help of consignment account. In consignment account on debit side, for 25,000 we wrote no, to goods sent on consignment. This 25,000 in goods sent on consignment account, credit side we should write. We are taking this 25,000 from Nijamabad consignment account. No? In particular, write down the account name. By Nijamabad consignment account. Debit side nothing. So, same 25,000 on debit side. And for this answer, we should write. Two trading account. Two sides put the totals. 25,000. Credit said also same. So this is the end of present problem. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.